Hey, did I do something to you? Are you mad? Is this because I brushed all the crumbs off your desk? What? No, I don't care about that. Do you know where they are? In the trash. All right, if it's not that, then why are you trying to keep me off this case? Oh, that. All right, look, the reason that I didn't want to work with you is, should I do this in an accent so that I can undercut some of the awkwardness I'm feeling? No. Good call. Remember when you told me that you didn't want to date cops? That really bummed me out, man. Jamaican? Yeah, it was a bad choice. I'm much better at German. <sighs> All right, fine. I was kind of thinking about asking you out. Oh, OK. But I know that that's not what you want, and I totally get it. I think it just took me a while to totally, totally get it. And now I totally get it. Jake, this is weird. The whole point of me not dating cops is so it wouldn't be weird at work. OK, so let's just make it not weird, right? This is a case. We work cases together all the time, and we're really good at it. So, you know, we're professionals. That's all I want, for us to be professional. We're in agreement. It will be good and professional. The chef, why isn't he making the handoff? Oh, crap. He saw us. Uh... Excuse me. Oh, hey. We were just looking for a place to, uh... Boink. Yep. Boink. That's my preferred term for it as well. Mm -hmm. I get it. Newly engaged kids. Enjoy. Thanks. Good. Good, 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 good. Kept our cover intact. Nice work. Quick professional thinking out there. Very quick. Very professional. Detective? Detective. Let's get back on the case. So how was the restaurant? Such a normal time. Why are you being weird? Amy and I kissed. What? To keep our cover from being blown, we didn't have a choice. Tell me everything! Hey. Hey. Thought I might find you in here. I just needed to process the captain's news. I feel so bad for him. So how you holding up? I don't know. I'm still in shock. You? Uh, I'm basically handling it the way I dealt with my dad leaving. Just repressing the hell out of it. <laughs> so a lot of change around here, huh? Jake, the new captain's here. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some copies in here. Perfect cover, nailed it. So, apparently the new captain survived and his heart attack, not the craziest thing that happened at the precinct today. We kissed, like three hours ago. Yes, we did kiss each other, for reals. Reals, reals. Mm -hmm. Listen, I know you said you don't want to take cops, but I really like you. I like you too. Good. But what if we start dating and it makes things weird at work? So let's just keep it light and breezy, see where it goes. Totally, yeah. So how do we keep it light and breezy? I know, a comprehensive set of rules. How am I attracted to you? Doesn't matter, I am, go. Rule one. Let's not tell anyone so we can figure out what this is first. Smart. Rule number two, let's not put labels on it. We're not boyfriend and girlfriend. We're just mermsy and jingle bin. Great. Rule number three, let's not have sex right away. Cool. Cool, 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 No doubt, no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Good rule. No sex. Good rule. So, should we go out tonight? Yeah, totally. Maybe eight, maybe nine. Doesn't matter. We're light and breezy. Totally light and breezy. <laughs> Briefing room. Five minutes. Wow, very chill. So, here we are. Officially on a date. Romantical date. Yes, we are. No longer just colleagues. Dating. You got a haircut. It looks nice. Oh, thanks. You also got a haircut. At some point in your life, I'm sure. That's not your baby hair. That would be crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you look... Very nice. Domo arigato. <laughs> Do you speak Japanese? No. Uh, uh, sorry, I think I'm feeling a little awkward. Yeah, me too. How do we make it not weird? I know. Let's just get super drunk. Yes, great idea. Pardon me, ma'am. Could you please bring us four kamikaze shots? And four for me as well. Ah, I like your style. See, we can do this. We're back on track. We're keeping it light and breezy. So, 
We broke a rule. Yeah. I hope it wasn't a mistake. Hope it wasn't a mistake. Title of your sex tape. <gasps> Title of our sex tape. 12 says French. Oh, that's a yes. Oh, my God. You had sex. Oh, I could tell because you're glowing. Oh, Jake, no one wants to hear about your sex life. You just asked me repeatedly. Because I was rooting for you and Amy. But now I can see you're super serious about this anonymous gym seductress. Oh, I'm so sorry, Amy. It doesn't matter to me. I'm, I would never date Jake. I work with Jake. I'd love to see you date someone from work. Your head would explode. Your head would explode because of how well I would handle it. Hmm. Sick burn. You two have been in this evidence locker for... Hey! What? Nothing? Oh. Nothing. You were just making out with Peralta. Oh. There's that candy bar wrapper I was looking for. Oh, Santiago, what are you doing here? <laughs> so I guess it is hose before it chose with you, friend. Now I understand why nothing gets done in this precinct. The detectives are too busy Frenching with each other. Well, you know what? Your little honeymoon is over! Because as long as I'm here, you two are done! And I'm gonna be here a long, 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 long... Oh, this is a heart attack. This right here, this is a heart attack. Ooh, it's a big one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. Sir, it's all right. We're getting help. Okay. Tell my wife that I love her. Work ethic. Uh. Tell me. Easy. You march over there, you tell her how you feel, and you bring a fancy bottle of lavender shampoo because shampooing a woman's head is the most erotic thing you could ever No, possibly. no, no shampoo. That's the worst. But I am going to go over there. I'm going to tell her how I feel. Yeah, you go get her. No. Wait till it starts raining. No, that's crazy. Go now. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. I was home, and I really wanted to talk to someone about us and Dozerman and about Holt being gone, and then I realized that the only person I want to talk about that stuff with is you. So, screw just being colleagues, and screw Light and Breezy, right? Definitely. Guys, we did it. We really did it. Oh, Charles is here. Big time. Hey. So, I marked all the corners where Taxi has been spotted on this map. You'll probably notice right away that it makes the shape of a boob. This looks great. Confirms Devin's story. He says his dealer hangs out here, in the underboob. He said he'll point him out to us, so you approach on foot from the south, and me and Devin will be in an unmarked car here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me and Devin? Didn't you mean Devin and I? Oh, God. I corrected your grammar. <gasps> Are you so proud of me? Are you horrified? Are you super horny? I'm just really tired. Leave me alone. Don't you mean leave I alone? No, that one felt wrong. I guess we're equally bad at grammar. I'm not bad at grammar. I'm exhausted because you refuse to get a new mattress. All right, why don't you just get a new back? I didn't mean that. We're not fighting. We can totally work together. We're fine. Yeah, that wasn't a fight. That was just sexy workplace banter. Exactly. I mean, mattresses are also sexy because that's where you do it. Yeah, and grammar is a system of language involving syntax and semantics. Also sexy. Okay, 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 okay. Point is we're good. Yeah. Nice takedown. Thanks. Oh, my God. What? Nothing, nothing. Let's just take this guy in. No, what is it? It's just... This mattress looks just like your mattress at home. What? No, it doesn't. I mean, sure, there are a couple of similarities, but... Oh, man, it's the exact same one. Ugh, I have a dumpster mattress. All right, that settles it. We're going mattress shopping. Seriously? Oh, this is the best. I'm so proud of you. You know, once we get it, we'll have to break it in. Oh, I hear what you're saying. Mattress trampoline. Wait, no, you were talking about sex. Yeah. Then mattress trampoline. Sure. OK. What's this case? Oh, this is at work. It's research on your mom since we're finally meeting. It's very thorough. Just relax. She's going to love you. You're both strong, accomplished women that have seen me naked. I used to be so good at meeting grown-ups. I'd just sing Itsy Bitsy Spider flawlessly and ride that wave till bath time. But now, it's anybody's guess. All right, what I am about to say will make you very horny, but you have to try and remember that we're still at work. Do you want me to quiz you? Oh, God, yes. Wow, OK, great. What is my mother's favorite drink? Red wine over ice. Just like Diane Keaton, or so she always says. Favorite topics of conversation? Jimmy Carter is underrated. Mm -hmm. How beautiful some front doors are. What's Jane Seymour up to? And how cool is it that the ladies across the street are lesbians? Great. Nice work. Topics to avoid. How my dad left us and ruined our lives. How my dad got remarried twice and ruined our lives. How my dad moved to Canada and ruined our lives. You know what? Lives. 
I'm just gonna steer clear of your dad entirely. Smart. You're gonna be fine, all right? She's gonna totally love you. Are those her dental records? Oh. Wow, that's, that's so interesting. Oh. I know this isn't the best time, but we are in your childhood bedroom and I do have one question. Did you have a nose ring in high school? Yes, until it got infected and I almost went blind. Don't tell anyone. Cool, it's our secret. Just gonna check my email up high. No new messages. Amy, can we focus? What is going on here? Why is my dad dating my mom? What does he want? Money, but she's a public school art teacher. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe that son of a bitch wants his picture drawn. Jake, Karen is a grown woman with a pretty respectable credit score. I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Amy, I know that you have a binder, but you don't know her like I do. She's too trusting for her own good. She's fallen for more Nigerian scams than Scully. She's fallen for 20 Nigerian scams? 20? That's insane! No, she's fallen for two. Scully's fallen for 20? Yeah. Look, all right, you know what? This is fine. It's just the same that it's always been. I have to protect her. I'm gonna go down there, and I'm going to express my concerns to her in a calm, rational manner. What are you doing, Mom? He's evil! Attention, squad. Mm, pretty dainty way to make an announcement. To workplace, I wanted to be respectful. Well, as someone at a high risk for a spook-related death, thank you. As I was saying, it's time for round four of the Halloween Heist. <laughs> Until Gina, I love her. What's up, Nine Nine? Jake Peralta here to tell you that tonight is the night for the Halloween heist. Amy already went over this. What? Hames, what are you doing? I always announce the heist. Yeah, Amy, what the hell are you doing? Exercising my right to announce the heist as the defending champion. Defending champion? The only reason you won is because no one knew you were even playing. It was a pathetic act of pure cowardice. Oh, she's your girlfriend, Peralta? Not tonight, she isn't. Although, don't kiss anyone else. I love you so much. Now then, this one's for all... So Such a cool. Dork. What? He's ordering us to break up? Look, we can deal with this. We just need a new plan. I got it. We lie, tell him we broke up, and then date in secret. Great! And you'd be okay lying to your captain? Okay, new plan. Uh -huh. <gasps> captain Holt is here today. Yes! Genius! He loves us, and he's got tons of sway in the department. He'll tell the Vulture to back down. Yeah, he'll be all, Vulture, I must insist that you desist. I really think this is gonna work. Also, if you ever wanna bust out that Holt impression at home, I'd be okay with that. Oh, okay. Duly noted. Super disturbing, but I'm definitely gonna do it. <sighs> so what are we gonna do about the Vulture? I've got a new plan. Pretend like we're talking. We are talking. Exactly. It's working already. Now I'm going to coolly run my hands through my hair. Look where my elbow's pointing. <gasps> it's Davis Garman, chief of detectives. Holt said he could overrule the Vulture. Exactly. The only question now is, will he believe us? Yes, because we're gonna take a page from the Vulture's book. The big book of small butts? What? It's the only thing I've ever seen him read. No, we're gonna secretly record the Vulture telling you to dump me. Then we'll play it for Chief Garmin. Then... We're gonna totally have sex on top of each other. You get to keep your job. Yes, that. Impressed? Mm-hmm. And horrified by your eating habits. Well, if I'm so unhealthy, how come I never go to the bathroom? <laughs> Okay, let's get to Garmin. Yeah. Hi, I'm Margaret Dozerman. How did you know my husband? Uh, Mrs. Dozerman, your husband was a great man. Some of my fondest memories of him were on our fishing trips. You went on those trips? I did indeed. They called me the Coho King. Pretty much single-handedly organized those things myself. So you were the one who brought all the prostitutes? Uh... I know you'll be excited because I busted Devin here with four vials of this, which is a new drug called... Taxi! You actually found some? Yep. Your CI was right. It's popping up on the corners. Man, my snitches are the best. The key is to always send them handwritten thank you notes. Oh, so what do you say? Shall we take this partnership from the sheets to the streets? Ooh, our first case is a couple. Why not? Hey, guys. I just discovered a new drug, too. It's called your relationship, and I'm high on it. Charles, I'm going to need to back off, man. Roger that. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You gotta see this. I'm about to give Captain Holt his gift. Oh, did he lift his no gift policy? No, he didn't. But I figured out a way to buy him something and trick him into accepting it. You are bad. I know, right? 
Oh, wait, you're making fun of me. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't care. He would never open a gift, right? But what if his gift didn't look like a gift? He would open it? Exactly. I left it in a cardboard box on his desk. There's no card, just the words open now, which I wrote with my wrong hand so he wouldn't recognize the handwriting. Captain. Santiago. Peralta. Sir. So, just to recap, you left an unmarked package on a police captain's desk on a random Monday with a suspicious message written on it that looked like it was scrawled by a crazy person. Mm-hmm. Bomb! There's a bomb! Everyone out! Let's go! Let's go! This is not a drill! Let's go! Great gift, babe.